Another commanding performance from Team India takes them practically into the semi-finals. Mathematically though, they'll have to wait and West Indies become the third team to get knocked out of the World Cup after Afghanistan and South Africa. Winning the toss, India chose to bat first and they lost Rohit Sharma pretty early in their innings and both KL Rahul and Kohli played it a bit cautiously in the first 10 overs. It has been their format. It has been a working format for them as well. It is of no surprise that they have the second lowest run rate in the first 10 overs after South Africa. But then they are winning games so they don't have any complaints about it. The pitch was slightly on the slower side and every batsman were finding it a bit difficult to get going. But Virat Kohli once again showed the world why he is the best in the business by scripting another fluent innings. And in that process, he also became the fastest to score 20,000 international runs by overtaking the legendary names of Sachin and Brian Lara. In an attempt to up the ante, he got out for 72 and in the end, Dhoni and Hardik Pandya did well to take India to 278. In the second innings, India showed the world why they are the number one ranked side in ODI format and why they are the favourites in this World Cup. They were just brilliant with both bowling and fielding. Shami bowled brilliantly with the new ball. He has given the selection committee a happy headache to have once Bovi is back match fit. Kohli was absolutely spot on with his captaincy. He brought back Bumrah when West Indies were 5 wickets down. He did not hold him back for the death. He wanted to finish the business as fastly as possible. And Bumrah delivered his second double wicket maiden of the tournament. In the end, it was a very convincing win for Team India. However, they have a few weaknesses to iron out. It is of course their middle order. The form of Kedar Jadav, MS Dhoni to an extent and Vijay Shankar will be debated throughout this weekend. But because they have so much positives around them, their bowling, their opening partnership and everything, this one particular weakness gets overshadowed a bit. And India will look head and shoulders above the other teams if they solve their middle order issues. Next up, India face England this Sunday and it's another big ticket game. It's two of the best ODA teams going head to head in the biggest of stages. Just cannot wait for the match to begin.